The Bucks are 17 and 16 since they fired Adrian Griffin. And that's after having a 30 and 13 start. The Bucks are 15 and 15 in their last 30 and are currently paying as many coaches as the Heat have had in total since 95. I want to tap in because we talked about, you know, coaches having podcasts and then being able to voice their opinion. I want y'all to hear about real accountability. It talked about Angel Reese this week and the, you know, victim blaming and all this stuff. Let's let's hear what Dr. Rivers has to say. It's funny. I've actually been sitting back and watching everything. Uh, not just our players, but our travel crew, everything. Uh, and I've made a lot of notes. I will say that. I won't share that. Um, but very um, professionalism, seriousness on the road. Um, and, and that's something that we can fix. Uh, that's something we're going to have to fix. Do you feel like that just gets cleaned up in the playoffs? Like, have you seen that in the past? That yeah, I'm not concerned. Yeah, yeah. The playoffs are a new beast, but I'm looking at it for the long run, too. I mean, it's not just for now. Like, we got to be a better road team. And it's funny, I've actually... So part of the reason they're losing is because of the travel crew. Uh, mm -hmm. if we're, we're doing something wrong. Um, you know, as a, as a coaching staff, we, we have to figure out what we need to do different um, as far as practices and training. Um, as a travel staff, not talking players, um, we may have to do something different there too because something's missing. And um, everybody seems happy, you know, um, but except for me after a game, you know, and so I <laughs> doing something wrong. I'm going to figure that out. Oh, no. I didn't see this clip. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh. Wait, no I'm the only one who cares. <laughs> God, oh, no. I mean, we, fuck around, we fuck around losing to the Wizards, <laughs> losing to the damn Grizzlies. <laughs> These niggas happy. <laughs> These like, bloods, man. They all, all they care about is a check. Oh God. I asked about you know what you feel like is not traveling in your game on yeah. the road. Another one and two road. I don't know. Trip. I think focus. I don't know what it is. Uh, I asked about you know what I do. Yo, these niggas like all right. Y'all done gave me this job. These niggas don't care. What is Sorry, Giannis. Sorry, Giannis. Your 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 MVP conversations are going out the window because that's the guy. I knew oh, they wow. were mid. I never knew they were seven and sixteen, seventeen and sixteen mid. I knew they were mid, but damn, because the definition of mid, buddy. They're, like they're like they're down to the last game. Like, mean, like, like we're talking about man. we're talking about thumbs up or down they're for fucking Hawks. MVPs. No, thumbs up or down for literal mid is on game by game. That is crazy. Also, side note, Brad, for anyone who cares about them on off numbers, I just look at Jokic's. On off with Doc Rivers? Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Jokic's on off numbers are crazy this year, bro. Oh, yeah, he's the. Uh, who cares? Player, so that, yeah. On off numbers for literally every best player should look crazy. And, and that's not the point. Nah, nah, but 19.7 compared to 6.6 .6 with Luka, that's a crazy difference. Yeah, there's no Kyrie on that team, and Jamal Murray's been hurt a lot this year. Wait, what? There's no Kyrie on that team, and Jamal Murray has been hurt a lot this year. That's, what's their offense without. What's their that's offense? That's pretty true. I think Jamal's. What's their, what, Jamal's wait, at Kyrie's been hurt. Yeah, Jamal's at 54. Yeah. Yeah, so both their secondary Man, stars have been hurt. They have other pieces. I, I we'll, we'll get into that conversation a little bit later. But what what's the conversation on Doc Rivers? Stuff? What's the Sorry, we were talking about the MVP award? My bad. Damn. What's that conversation on the doctor, <laughs> man? He sucks. He stinks. <laughs> oh yeah, no, He's I'm not shocked. He's living off that 08 ring yeah. since 2008 as a Celtics fan. He's been living off of that. Uh, Danny Ainge did him a favor in 08. He got blessed with the most stacked team, um, in that era. Arguably, they won a championship in their first year um and they still underachieve in that era and ever since then people have just been hiring him because hey he's a championship coach he got the job done this time the third but he has failed over and over and over and over again and he just keeps getting a shot in the nba because he's a former nba player with connects um and again he got that 08 ring that's a conversation about doc rivers before we move on with the rest of the podcast, we want to shout out the sponsors of this video, Prize Picks, our personal favorite way to play daily fantasy sports. And the game is very simple. All you got to do is go on their app or their website, sign up for an account. They got a bunch of different sports up top. We'd make some picks for League of Legends, but uh, I know a lot of y'all like basketball, so we'll stick with basketball. And if you know ball, you can win some money. Say, do you think Bojan Bagdanovic can get more or less than eight and a half threes up? <laughs> All shots, good shots, baby. Keep shooting. He's shooting at least nine. I know the Lakers. I know. 
Dino Demodome showing up tonight. He's dropping 30, not 24. So you got to go with more AD all day, every day. We'll go ahead and put $5 on this entry and boom. And if you use code LKIB, Price Pick will match up to $100 on your first deposit. And shout out again to Price Picks for sponsoring this video. Links to everything will be in the description. I feel like you don't even want to be there. Like, no funny. Don't, 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 don't it seem like that? He's not happy. That's what he told you. I mean, yeah. sound like. Oh, sound like he fumbled back. his way. He fell into a relationship with a bitch he don't like. That's crazy. That's what it <laughs> nah. sounds like. Yeah, just... yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, and I wonder who he's like talking about when he's blaming because he's keeping it broad. But it's got to be like a certain like three niggas he just hates. He's like, yo, Dame, Bobby Portis, and fucking I don't know who's on this. Uh, it, well, Pat Bev now hate these niggas. <laughs> niggas just happy <laughs> after losses. Hate them. Nah, I can't be Pat Bev. That nigga, he's a maniac. Mm. You think he mad, Pat Bev? Pat, oh, he's about to go on a podcast real soon. I promise you, he's just waiting. He knew around here, so he, he's not, he ain't real keen with just talking about the uh, team business like that yet. But let this shit continue. He gonna drop a clip soon. Yeah, Doc, I, I'm not shocked. Yeah, to talk about Doc, I mean, I'm not shocked they're mid. I was shocked they were dangerously, like, literally mid. But I'm not shocked the Bucks suck because Doc Rivers is coach. No, I, I, the only reason I'm shocked the Bucks suck is because I look at that personnel and I'm like, what the hell are y'all doing? But outside of that, nah. yeah, they're a team that got the pieces. Same thing with the Lakers is just the coaching. Jesus Christ, man. They need to uh... random straight. My bad, Laker fans. But uh... I mean, you ain't wrong. I, I I'm not a fan of firing the coach again. Th this is this is what I was signaling, and and we and we definitely not finna just go deep into this. This is what I was saying this whole time. Now it looks like they want to fire a coach. Hold on, now y'all done been through how many coaches in a span of 18 months? I but... didn't get the Adrian Griffin firing. Like, come on now. So now we we really just spinning the wheel, recycling, and. If the coach doesn't live up to Adrian Griffin's level, because mind you, let's say they fire Doc at the end of the season. Whoever comes in next has to be on pace for a 13 and 30 or 30 and 13 start. Because if they not, people still gonna question, damn, why we, what is he doing? He's worse. Why do we hire why we hire Adrian Griffin or fire Adrian Griffin a long time ago? And that person's gonna be back on the hot seat quick, fast, and hurry. Let so, me revise it. I just feel like I, I I get why they um fired Adrian Griffin, because from my at least from what I saw from the decision, they didn't view him as the guy who's who's gonna get them over the hump at the end of the day. So it was on some let's just cut him early before we even get to that point. Kind of similar to the Joe Mazzula conversations last season. But um I just feel like with the way they were playing under Adrian Griffin this season, to do it at the time that they did, I would have at the very least, and even then I still wouldn't have done it probably. Like I would have waited till the end of the season to do that shit, not in the middle. Especially when you're trying to win a championship this year. Like continuity is important. Like that that has been proven time and time again. With all the teams that make it deep into the playoffs, with the teams that actually win the championship, you look at the Bucks in 21, the Warriors in 22, Nuggets in 23, Laker, uh, Lakers might be the outlier. But yeah, continuity is mad important. And they just ruined that shit. Yeah. They didn't get Nick Nurse. 